The threat is mostly behind us. A tsunami advisory for the Bay Area has been dropped. But earlier today, the tsunami surge brought big waves, strong currents as far north as Sonoma County and flooding as far south as Santa Cruz. A number of fishermen and surfers rescued from the surge. We begin with meteorologist Rob Maeda. He has been following this all day for us. And Rob, the tsunami advisory is dropped for us, but it's still in effect for other parts of the state. Yeah, parts of the central coast still seeing those tsunami surges about two to three feet at times. And earlier today, we did see peak wave and water heights around Crescent City and Port San Luis to the south near San Luis Obispo of three to four feet. And from Point Reyes down to Monterey, we saw those wave heights of about two to three feet, just over one foot in San Francisco. Now notice the trend here from Point Reyes to San Francisco. You see how the amplitudes are starting to drop off here as we approach the next high tide just after 1130 tonight. Monterey southward. Notice that Port San Luis still seeing those rises. That is where the tsunami advisory is still ongoing. But for the Bay Area, that has been dropped. So that is the good news we have tonight. And the other thing we're watching in the forecast might be water of a different sort. Some rare showers could be moving in from the south. We've been tracking this on Storm Ranger. We'll see how much this could change your Sunday forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. All right, Rob, thank you so much. New video of the surge waves from the tsunami disrupting things on the Santa Cruz coast. A planned surf competition this morning canceled. Surfers evacuated from the ocean because of the tsunami warning. And take a look at this video also from Santa Cruz. This was at the harbor. You could see some cars that were parked there became partially submerged. And another look at just how flooded the harbor got. No word yet on how much it'll cost to clean up the flooding and repair any damage. Now, fortunately, the damage this time around isn't like the flooding we saw back in 2011. You might remember an 8.9 earthquake in Japan triggered a series of tsunamis that hit the Santa Cruz Harbor. It cost 26 million dollars in damage. Today's situation is nowhere close to as severe.